Hey, good evening from Texas. It's 808 here. Um, I want to come on here and bring you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth on things that you're not going to see on your media or on your television. So, um, those of you may be aware, we had a Cat 1 hurricane hit Houston. It actually went up south of Houston and then came along the coast and went right across the city of Houston. Okay? So, what does that mean? Well, the devastation was more of a Cat 5. Okay? The uh, number of power lines, the number of um, street lights... The number of uh, transformers that blew. Um, Worse than I saw during Harvey. Matter of fact, it reminds me of Hurricane Alicia. Um, And I've come on here and I come on here and I want to share the truth about what's going on. Um, I have been in this state for 50 years. Two and a half years I left in the Navy. And I went through hurricanes in Virginia North Carolina, wherever we were out out at sea. And I've been through a lot of tropical storms, hurricanes, tornadoes, water spouts, uh, a lot of natural disasters. FEMA is nowhere to be seen. There is no United Way. There's no Red Cross. Now, maybe because they think it's a Cat 1, but if you look at the devastation, if you look at the people that are suffering, it's criminal. Criminal. Okay, Greg Abbott is in Asia, and we've had no government response. None. Okay, now, Hidalgo, which is our Houston, okay, so just so those of you that don't know, Houston's huge, okay? And so you've got counties, and right at the county line where I live, League City, is on the border of Houston, Harris County, and Galveston County. Now, Galveston got nailed, okay? But Hidalgo turned down the proposed aid prior to this. And now she has not responded. The mayor of Houston has spoken out because the baseball parks, the baseball stadiums, the sports arenas, downtown all has power, but the residents don't. Okay? Now, great, great. granite baseball. But what's more important? People's livelihood? Cancel the games. Reschedule the games. Take that power and direct it towards the grid. Oh, you can't. Why? Because center point is not paying the linemen. All the linemen set here. Trucks ready. Not dispatched. Uh, I can go on and on, but let's talk about Galveston County and uh, Judge Mark Henry. I mean, there are people looking for donation. Judge Mark Henry owns multiple businesses. Nothing, right? I mean, he gets on there, does the weather forecast, and I know Mark Henry. I was part of his veterans court, and I'm absolutely going to speak to it because it's ridiculous. The lack of response. The, there's no there's no Coast Guard. Coast Guard saves some people, but there is no military. There's no National Guard. There's no one helping. It's the residents. If you look at if if you were look at some of the stuff I post, Galveston residents threw together and had to do their own food drive. They're out there cooking for people. Harris County isn't doing crap. Okay. Do I have power? Yes. Do I have water now? Yes. Was this uncomfortable for me? Sure, it was there for a hot minute. I've faced these. I know what it is. Then we have these heat waves. You have the mosquitoes. You have all the little things that nobody thinks about. Then you have the smell of mildew, the mold, the, the and the humidity. Okay. It is, it's not pleasant. And it's not necessary. They knew that this storm was coming. They did not stage anything to help these people out. There's no ice being distributed. There's no water being distributed. Unless it's people, businesses, uh, donut shops, okay, going and working around the clock to feed people, okay? And what? why am I saying this? Because it's not being shown on the news. And I got news for all of you. It's coming to a city near you. This thing went to New Mexico. Go look at what happened in New Mexico. Where's the where's the police? Where's the government officials? Where's FEMA? Where is United Way? Where are all the government agencies supposed to be helping us? They're non-existent. And why? Because they know that Americans haven't stood up for anything. I mean, and let's just talk about this weather, this unnatural weather phenomenon. 
it's kind of interesting how I came on here and I showed where the clouds were flashing and y'all said it was heat lightning and so on. And then there was a major storm. Okay. It's kind of funny how I come on here and tell y'all what's coming. All right. I predicted the storm. I did. Three and a half years ago, I, I started telling everybody what's coming. I told everybody that we were going to be hit with one of the fastest developing uh, storms. And we did. This hit us as a cap one. The winds were higher than what they reported. The devastation is more than what they reported. It's unnatural. It's not natural. Why am I coming on here? Well, because there's people suffering needlessly. And from a spiritual aspect, is all this necessary? I don't believe it is. I really don't. But they say nothing's real. This is all pretend. Well, it feels real, right? It does. It feels real. People are feeling this. Should they have to? No, they shouldn't. But this is the result of Americans taking it and taking it and taking it and not standing up. And we're not even done. There's another storm building right where this one did. That may come, it's going to come into the Gulf somewhere, right? Whether it hits Texas or Louisiana, there's one to the right of Florida. I mean, the coast of California is getting nailed by wildfires. They're getting nailed by it. Snow tsunamis. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> when's enough enough? When is America going to stand up and say no more? When are we going to hold our county officials criminal? They're criminals. They need to be held accountable. I think they ought to face attempted murder charges and murder for all the people that died. So, you know, what am I saying? Greg Hill, Missouri County Judge, I'm watching your constituents are uh, pissed off at you. Judge Mark Henry, Galveston County, you failed us. You failed us. Uh, Judge uh, Stevens, you know, I don't know. I saw you doing some stuff. You've done more than anyone, and I know you personally, but I don't know. Were you not informed? Was it because the mayor? Was it because the... Well, who else? The judges? The city elected officials? Maybe. But it doesn't matter, man. Y'all all should be held accountable. Just because you're a judge does not make you above the law. Just because you are the governor of Texas, you're not above the law. The president is a freaking whack job. So, you know, it starts at the top. So have we gone lawless? Where's martial law? They could have called martial law. They didn't. We've got uh, the League City Police Department. I'm going to speak to them over here on their website bragging of what they did when I have proof that they didn't do what they should have. I saw police officers not reacting. I saw police officers writing tickets. I saw police officers staged and just sitting there on their butts. While I went out and flagged down people because there was a down power line, I called 911 three hours to respond. You know how many people went through that live power line? And... Where are the police? Where are the rescue? Where is anything? They're nowhere to be seen. It's coming to a city near you, state near you. You all are going to face this. But what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? From a spiritual aspect, y'all need to understand this is a spiritual war. They're trying to break our spirit. They are trying to break our spirit. It's a time to come together in unity. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be frustrated. All you that everything's light and love? No, not everything is light and love. Yes, you should try to love everybody. But there's a lot of people that I do not love, I don't respect, and I will not tolerate the criminal behavior of our elected officials. Because we can unelect them. We can hold them. So what are you going to do? If it hasn't hit you, it will. Thoughts? Y'all share. Let me know. Let me know. What are y'all experiencing? What are you feeling? What is your news stations reporting about the devastation here in Texas? And I am by no means complaining. I, I'll face whatever it is. I'll go without water, food, whatever, because I'm resourceful. And truth be known, if I want it bad enough, I'll come and take it from whoever I need to. Right? That's who I am. That's who those veterans are. I'll figure out a way. I will. But what about the elderly the women, the children, the babies, man, and the animals. Y'all let me know.